Rain or shine, it's going to go on. Even a pending lawsuit, nothing is stopping the first Waterloo Music Festival from happening today. The iconic music shop in Austin, though, claims that the festival used that Waterloo name without their permission. Waterloo Records President John T. Kuhn says the name Waterloo may cause some people to think that they're actually promoting this festival, but they're not, and the promoters of that festival say they don't plan on changing the name either. We wanted to draw an analogy between the original settlers of Austin who took a you know chance, left behind everything they knew, and settled on the bank of the Colorado River. And here we are, you know, hoping to do the same thing and remind our city and our community of the Americana heritage that uh, that has been so important to the, the growth of it. Those settlers only knew what that land is worth now. <laughs> this is true. Yep. Uh, but that three-day festival, by the way, kicking off uh, later this morning. There's an option if you want to camp out out there as well. Candy Rodriguez is live from Carson Creek Ranch. That's near Highway 71 and 183. Good morning. John and Sally, good morning. Yes, we are only hours away from the gates opening up here at the first ever Waterloo Music Festival. And joining us live this morning is Scott Holmes, producer extraordinaire here at the festival to talk all about it. And it's an all Americana festival. Tell me what that is and who's going to be here. It's an eclectic mix of music that we have. We have three nights of string cheese. We have Railroad Earth. We have uh, Joe Rouge is Almost Dead. It's going to be a great time. <laughs> and it's more than a festival. I mean, there's several things around us. Just take a look. Tell me a little bit about what's going to be going on here. Yeah, we have all sorts of interactive activities going on. We have lots of chill spots like this uh, where you can catch some shade and get out of the heat and uh, yoga workshops. Uh, and then what are all these right here? These are our glamping options by Backwoods Camping. And this is your upscale camping where you come in, it's already set up. You get a cooler, you get chairs, an outdoor table. It's pampered camping. So yes, yeah, so there are some camping options with this festival and there's also an option for you to bring your vehicle and have a tent space and also bring your RV and have hookups. But John and Sally, this is a little bit more faint on the fancy side. It, it's all set up. It's ready to go and there's a, a bed in here. Tell me about it. Yeah, we have different bed options. Uh, this is our queen size bed option and, and an AC I see and AC is the big one and electrical outlets. Um, when we, tomorrow or today when you get set up, we'll have a uh, Everything set up, beds made, you throw your stuff in and you hit the road. Well, guys, I think I can get used to this. I can come out here and glamp all weekend. What do you think? Why don't we have that for you everywhere you go? Yeah. Every live location, we just set up a little glamping tent. We're going to we're gonna expense one for her. <laughs> send the receipts to the boss. Yeah, no kidding. Hey, Candy, thank you. That AC is going to come in really handy, too.